All right, listen, party people. I want to make this very clear. This is not clickbait. I wish it really was. I am dropping out of YouTube. Wait, what? <laughs> I was about to say I'm been dropping out of school. I already did that. I'm quitting YouTube. <laughs> hey guys, I'm very well aware. Currently on this day, it's April 1st. It's not a joke. I'm taking this conversation seriously. I hope you do too. Um, I think I might just quit YouTube because I feel like you should too. So the way this video is gonna work is I'm gonna explain why I started this channel in the first place, what I'm gonna do next, and then hopefully I'll get over why you should quit YouTube too. And uh, that's today's last video, I guess. <laughs> But there's a twist on today's video. I tend to ramble a lot and I tend to forget to breathe. So I I got a bowl of fruit, really ap unappetizing. I got a bowl of fruit, some berries and grapes, by the way. I don't know if you're a strawberry girl, but I'm a grape and blueberry girl. I'm gonna eat that. So I give myself like a time frame. So when I finish this bowl, I'm gonna shut the heck up. Cool, cool. So this is not too rambly, but it's a long video. So grab a snack, uh, grab your choice of fruit. Honestly, guys, I'm gonna really miss this. Like, I'm gonna really miss this. So for the last time, here, ooh, is today's video. My name is Jade, I'm 16, and I make videos about how to grow on social media first blueberry of the day all right guys there's a fun little addition to the comment section comment below how many blueberries you think i ate in this video this is number one and i can't wait to see how many you get whoever's closer gets a bitcoin or something just kidding i can't afford that okay resuming i literally wanted to start this channel since i was young i just wanted to someone who really inspired girls and guys and i really didn't know what topic I was gonna talk about. I started with beauty, um, I started with dolls, and I progressed into Instagram growth. You guys don't know, this channel had multiple, multiple personalities before Instagram became the main topic. We have grown this channel to 25,000 subscribers, or I don't even call you guys subscribers, I call you a Dharma Nation. We, we grew to 25,000 citizens, okay? It was never my intention to make money, grow you guys to this big, um, but it happened. And I wrote down all my goals for um, the start of this year, which I will share, and uh, I hit them. Now, what's next? I started this channel because I wanted to help people document my journey um, and create a business. I, necess I didn't necessarily want to be like the Instagram girl, but I kind of chose upon myself a video basically called how to grow an instagram you probably have seen it if you've seen it if you came from that video comment and like or just let me know because i'm so curious how you came here <laughs> because i care about you so so much and i wanted to make sure that i'm not posting videos that weren't valuable what i did was after that video every single video after that was just literally instagram growth any anything with instagram because I knew that's what you guys wanted to see and I was posting videos every day so I felt like I had a lot to say so I made a video every day for the start of this year. Oh, oh shit, ew, it just like fell on the ground. By the way, the choice of beverage is the Sony water for today. <laughs> I'm a healthy girl. Just kidding. I started this channel to actually, <laughs> what was that? Actually, 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 I started this channel to grow, teach. And entertain so I started tweaking my content I took Instagram and try to make it more comedic and you guys seem to like it um, maybe you don't but you guys seem to like it um and I try to do many things with Instagram and the topic because I truly believe milking your content cow or you know creating as many videos you can squeeze out of yourself is the best way to grow your personal brand because you don't want to give up too early like you have to squeeze all of it out now, my question is, for you and me, is like, what do you do after you squeeze it all, you know? What if you, what if you do everything you have and do you just give up after you squeeze everything out of the topic you chose? Just when I realized how important it is to visually know a bigger goal. Not a goal or a outcome or, I guess, objective that is short-term, kind of like 
getting 100,000 followers or subscribers. When I say objective, it's more of like a moral goal. It's kind of like yourself. Like a, it's a very big picture. For example, being happy with yourself, like very, very general or overcoming um, insecurity, that's kind of what I'm talking about. I realized that I wanted to have a visual goal from the start of this year, and here it is. And I just realized that when I was doing YouTube, I kind of strayed away from it, and I'm glad I was able to come back, visually see my goals, um, and realize what I have to do. I don't want to be the Instagram girl. I am not the Instagram girl. I made sure it's my responsibility to educate you guys, but there's so much more. I basically, I want to be known as someone who helps people and creates businesses out of that. I don't want to make money out of just some, I don't know, like random thing. Like I really want to build something by helping people that profits. That's what a business is. People think businesses just take money and like make a fake product. Like no, it has to help people. Knowledge. And you have to have an objective because it's very hard. Realize in the process of making this video <laughs> that every day I, I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. I, I was half-assing my business, which is my app company. I will show you. Okay, it looks like this. And there's videos and it's basically a personal brand journey app where you can document, learn, create on a platform so you don't have to feel lost because I did. <laughs> you feel lost all the time. That was my objective and I wanted to create a YouTube channel to create community, but what I realized was Slowly but surely, and a good thing I catch myself with the right mentor and right reminder because I need to take a break from YouTube, and I think you should too. If you don't know your objective, and you're just going in a direction, you're basically walking blind. You need to have an end goal because it can get very dark very quickly. Great, great, slow down. What I plan to do, I want to let you guys know, I don't think I'm going to quit YouTube. Like, Quit. Qu -qu -qu Quit. I'm going to slow down. Now, I know I do daily uploads because I love you guys. And I want you guys to know that I was, I'm was, i here to give you daily reminders to always persist. But what I actually was doing was creating daily reminders just to post a video and not actually do my objective because I was so focused and just so blind. And I was just creating random stuff just to keep traffic going, money going. I wasn't actually considering you guys because I know you guys need more than tips and tricks. You guys actually need like program, like motivation, like motivation, not on like the cute little tips and tricks side, but motivation internally. I'm going to take a break from you too. <laughs> Darmination. No, I'm getting nervous. I don't want to say I'm like leaving. I just need to, and like you should too, if you get confused with what your channel wants to do or what your Instagram profile is, go take a trip to like Bali or like if you can't afford that, drive to the park. <laughs> Wherever you take your stress away, <laughs> mine is great. But if you're curious, I'm still figuring out my objective. It I'm 16, like it takes time. So in a week, I'm not planning to like rewire my objective, but I do want to change the direction of my channel because Instagram growth is great, but I know what you guys need is a more concrete piece of like internal motivation like something that will help you with procrastination something that will help you with the lack of patience and things that actually help you in the long term not little short things you know so I'm gonna go over some exciting things these are my goals at the beginning of the year that I wrote and I want to quickly share this to you guys and I'm gonna quickly eat another grape because I'm rambling again ah I thought the grapes will help me stop rambling oh, whatever oh. So I have a sticky note wall, you might see these in videos, and they're just, they were goals, and I hit them. Thank you guys. You don't understand how energetic and how much it means to me, because I didn't think these were realistic at all. <laughs> Here are some of them. These are coaching calls, and I list them, I listed them as $50 each, and then I would only do five of them. I want to do five at 50 bucks. I wanted to do 10. It, this, this total was around two. By the way, this total is $2,000 worth of the coaching calls. That might not look a lot. That's a lot to me. I don't have much. Like, with my team, this was a, another goal that was said to educate the consumer to pay attention. That's literally what I wrote. Brand, not sell. So I made sure throughout all, literally this entire year, I've never, ever, ever made one sponsored affiliated post. I never sold you guys. I was branding, not selling. Um, this says 100 subscribers. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, for my podcast. We hit that like by, <laughs> by a lot, obviously. Um, some of them are video ideas. And there's just a lot more, you guys. Um, and I was sticking them on the wall and peeling them across every time I hit them. Now, now my wall is basically empty. I don't know what to do next. I want to make sure that I have stuff to do next. And it requires my full mental state. And YouTube is also requires full mental capacity. So I want to create a next set of these. I'm going to leave YouTube to do that. Now, I'll be back in a week. I know, you guys would probably think I'm going to be gone for like months. Like, no, I miss you guys too much. Um, and I think you should do this too. I don't know if sticky notes are too trashy for you. <laughs> You gotta know who you are guys you gotta know why you're doing it you can't just be growing on instagram to grow because you've seen this before and you felt it but you wanted to give up multiple times if you have visual visual goals and i'm telling you these are too these are even too specific like i wish i had a bigger sign that said create a positive community that grows on social media i think you guys should do this i'm gonna wrap up this video with one more thing you guys ever seen the movie spirited away no <laughs> Sorry, I'm a, I was into anime back then. So this movie, I was very fond of when I was little. A little fetus, like that. So the story goes like this. Imagine a little girl, okay? She's driving to her new city because her parents are moving. And as they're moving to a new city, getting really scared, they stumble across this magical forest, and long story short, she ends up stuck in this magical forest, okay? That, that shit's trippy. She gets stuck in this magical forest, all right, and there's creatures. They're not humans. They're like little ghost type things, and they basically told her, "If you don't become one of us, you're gonna die. So let me become. Let let let's just fix you." So they gave her a new name, they gave her new clothes, and they gave her a new role in this new magical forest because it was like a little. You guys see Nar Narnia, like it's just another whole community. So they had their own government, they had their own little workforce. So she became an employee of this new little magical forest okay it was a freaking lit forest what happened was she wanted to leave this freaking place like i'm kind of missing my mom and dad like can i please get out everyone told her no because to get out of this magical forest city you have to remember your name and you have to also wear your clothes that you started with she forgot her name and the only thing that brought her back to her place was when her guardian or friend reminded her that she wrote her name down on a piece of paper so she wouldn't forget and then there's a magical this is a you guys should watch this movie if you have time go watch spirited away please it's very very classic can't summarize it as best as the movie will got a piece of paper she wanted to go home the witch the leader which is a witch was like no you can't go back to your freaking hole but she's like i remember my name i know my parents i know who i came from and she put back her clothes on and freaking was badass like James Bond like fire in the back like left that magical forest now you guys I think of you when I hear this story when you're going onto Instagram you feel so cool like this is a nice new city or um, it's a new social platform like whatever is cool like Instagram Vero YouTube you want to start something then you get on the platform the community you built wanted to see something from you and you were just conforming to what they wanted because you wanted to please them you wanted to make sure that they're happy so they can actually provide for you and you can fit in sooner than later i feel like a lot of you guys might have the feeling where if you just hate it like you don't want to be there and you want to leave but then when you want to leave you just forgot who you really were in the first place you don't even know what you were wearing who your name was what your purpose is and when you try to go back home no one can recognize you because you never caught yourself and you didn't write your name down on a piece of paper or write your objective down or just remember where you why you started in the first place why did you start in the first place is what i want you guys to take away um i'm not trying to be like super rah rah today i just want to let you guys know don't forget your identity your identity is all that you really have a long story short I've had sticky notes to share and remind myself that I need to make new goals and I need to remind myself who it is because my name is not Instagram girl, my name is Jade and I'm an entrepreneur. I'm not a YouTuber, I'm not an Instagrammer. I, I, heck, I don't even know if entrepreneur makes sense. Like, entre entrepreneur in your Instagram bio doesn't mean shit. It's what you do with it. So, I'm gonna make sure I build out my personal brand journey app a lot stronger. I was lacking. I need to build out more my business more because I'm just... I just know that it's gonna be 
the best and I can't let my parents down. I can't let you guys down. Heck, no one really knows I'm doing this video right now. My dad's like probably like, Jade, go back on YouTube. Like you're doing well, you're making money. Um, <laughs> I'll be back so soon. I'll be back actually um, April 7th. If you guys want to catch me anywhere else, I'll leave my Instagram. I'll still be present on social, just YouTube. YouTube needs a break. I need to be more creative. I'm gonna get a new fresh set of content and I'll be back. But uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna still make Instagram videos, but the direction, the direction of my teaching or my direction of my content needs to change. You guys, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you next week. <laughs> April Fools. <laughs> you think I'm quitting? <laughs> Just kidding, this is probably super annoying, but for real, I'll be back. I'll be back to all my squad fam. Jarman Nation merch is dropping next week anyway, so I kind of have to be. <laughs> By the way, it's tax season, so my parents are extremely stressed. Um, so if I ever like become just really, really, I don't make sense throughout this video, that's probably why. Living in America is expensive, let's just say that. So I'll be back. I'm working on so many things. Uh, the website, the app, my next steps are definitely building out personal brand journey, the app, creating more content, marketing. Um, <laughs> I also kind of want to get into the music industry. That's a whole nother project. And then I have like four other clients. Love you guys so, so much. Happy Easter. He is risen. <laughs> um, and that's just something you should smile upon. If you ever have a bad day, take a deep, deep breath. Our minds always tell us to, when we're stressed, to work harder. Take a deep breath for yourself and rest. All right, guys. Catch you guys in. Oh, shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, comment below and like this video, okay? Let me know what you thought. If you miss me, let me know if you'll miss me because I'll miss you so much. If you just subscribed, I'm so sorry. I'll be, <laughs> I won't disappoint you. Catch you guys in, in, in the next one. Subscribe because it's going to get lit soon, I promise. Goodbye. <laughs>